Hello, I'm going to do this video blog. And it's still winter outside. I couldn't do much with my van construction. But I believe I could do one more thing during this time. I'm talking about new curtains for my mobile home. And his lighting is very bad here. Give me a second. Much better now. Just look how my dog is laying around. Oh, he's so comfortable. <laughs> okay, back to To making the curtains, I need to figure out all the sides and construction of my curtains. I need to get the material somewhere. I need to get the way I will actually make the curtains. And I need somehow to hang them in my van. The first part is easy. I need to get my ruler, a pen, piece of paper and go to the van. Let's measure all the things. It's done. And I'm back. Look, all the measurements here. Done. Second part, it's a bit more complicated. I need to find the right shop where I could get my material I need to figure out what material I want, the color, maybe some pattern and how much of the sun blocking it will be and actually go and get it. I googled some nearby shops of the curtains material and most of them it's a super fancy $100 for square meter shops that's not what I need. So I approach from another way and I will go to the hardware store like a home improvement big store and get some of the cheap curtain materials from there. And one little thing, it was a huge snow blizzard in Moscow these days and I have a very small rear wheel drive car so it will be a little fun out there. Let's roll! Okay, I am not sure what I was thinking about going to the shop with so bad weather. Look at this. Ah, it's a snow everywhere. And yeah. Snow everywhere. To the question how I will actually will make my curtains. Yeah, I bought this tiny sewing machine from China. Look at the size of my hand. It costs only $70 with delivery, but it can do all the big sewing machines uh, can do, and I think it's a nice sewing machine for testing. Uh, it has two speeds, it has uh, automatic sewing mechanism and it even has a little small pedal for freehand sewing process. I will try to make my first curtain with this 5 year old girl toy machine. And I must say I never saw anything in a sewing machine in my life and if you anyhow familiar with sewing machines or any good at it, sorry.
it will hurt. Here's the idea how my curtains will work. So you can see this side of the van with the shower cabin in the middle and this side with sliding door and two windows on the wall. Mm. to release it. How do you learn new stuff in 5 minutes? You watch YouTube videos. Five layers, five layers of my curtains material and no problems. So yeah, it's great little machine. And for the first curtain is pretty nice, it's not even square and stitching is very bad, but it's fine for testing. And now I will go to my van and test it there. I mount my testing piece and it looks pretty good. I mount it with magnets, uh, so I don't have the strings right now. It's a little too short, I think uh, about 5 cm longer would be really nice. But in general, I like it. And here is why I want to fix my curtains at the top and at the bottom. Because if you hang them just on the top, they will be about 10 cm at the bottom from the window. Because when it's a barrel shape and the wall is not straight. So I want to fix it closer to the window so it will not hang in the middle of the van. And it's change of plans. Instead of doing all these curtains by myself with this child sewing machine and my very bad skills, I actually found a sewing shop in my apartment building that are ready for doing full set of my curtains just for $50. And that's super great because I have plenty of things to do in my van and that I couldn't delegate to anyone. But I could delegate the curtains making to someone which is really nice and I did that actually and they already give me two pieces uh, of curtain and I will test them in my van. When I left my material as a sewing shop I asked them to make a small gap in the back stitching uh, of the curtains so I can put my new dimium magnets here and they could be transported along all the side of the curtain and it's invisible so with that feature I could put these magnets to the different sides of the curtains and they will snap to each other really cool right I will place magnets on three points on each side of the curtain and it's very important to put magnets right side up on each side of the curtain the same way because the magnets have positive and negative side and you want these magnets to work like this, overlaying two sides of the curtain and blocking all the light, but not like this, uh, when they try to uh, stick with back sides of the curtains and making a gap between the curtain sides. So it's like this, it's a bed, and this one is good. And I will fix my magnets with some green string. I will make a small template that will help me to put magnets on the exact same places on each of the curtain. Like here, here, and somewhere here. Everything will be fine. 
To hang curtains into the place, we'll use this metal string in a plastic wrap and these small aluminum holders, which will help me to make a loop in the string. These bolts that I will put into the walls and they will hold the string. And this tool. Oops, it's here. Uh, that can make uh, rivets in the walls with these rivet nuts. You can make a hole with a drill and then put it here and push it to the wall and make rivet for these bolts. I will show you just in a second. Also, I will put link to this tool in the description if you're interested. It's a very handy tool in a one conversion. The curtains for the first window is here and I am very happy with the result. Uh, I like the very clean installation, you couldn't see uh, many of the system that hangs these curtains. Um, I like these black caps that hides uh, bolts from the passengers and I like the magnets system, it works like a charm, keeping uh, curtains together for 100 privacy I add very very small screw there at the top uh, of the curtains between uh, two pieces to keep a little higher as a string uh, but yeah it's, it works fine uh, I hope it was pretty easy to make and I will go to the sewing shop, uh, I will say that curtains is ok and they can do uh, all curtains for my van to the, this window and all these windows too. That's all for this video, which is quite great, because production of this video was too long, I think it's a couple of months, while I uh, get the idea, find all the materials I need and all the hardware, trying to make the curtains myself and find the sewing shop, get them to make the curtains, waiting for make them curtains and waiting for good weather to hang them in my van. Yeah, it was weeks and weeks and weeks going, but I'm happy that I finally started to doing something in my van this year. Uh, it's still winter outside, yep, here, uh, but it's spring, so it's 
lot warmer now and my heater in the van is working. My solar panels is working too, so I could do something in my van um, and not get too cold. I show you only one way to hang curtains in a van, uh, there are many other ways. And I show you two ways of making these curtains by yourself with a sewing machine, which could be probably very long and painful, but it's possible, or by taking the material to the sewing shop and pay them for make curtains for you, uh, which I prefer because it's cheap and uh, I have plenty of other work I need to do in my van and don't want to waste time to the things I didn't good at. I will go to sewing shop and tell them that they could make all the other pieces for my van, but it's no reason to film it uh, because it's the same like I did these curtains. So that's all for this video, leave a like, subscribe and see you in next videos very soon.